In physics, particularly in electromagnetism, the Lorentz force or electromagnetic force is the combination of electric and magnetic force on a point charge due to electromagnetic fields. A particle of charge Q moving with a velocity v in an electric field E and a magnetic field B experiences a force F equals Q E plus Q V times B display style math bff equals q math bf e plus q math bf v times math bf b in SI units. Variations on this basic formula describe the magnetic force on a current carrying wire, sometimes called Laplace force, the electromotive force in a wire loop moving through a magnetic field, an aspect of Faraday's law of induction, and the force on a charged particle which might be traveling near the speed of light, relativistic form of the Lorentz force. The first derivation of the Lorentz force is commonly attributed to Oliver Heaviside in 1889, although other historians suggest an earlier origin in an 1865 paper by James Clerk Maxwell. Hendrik Lorentz derived it in 1895, a few years after Heaviside. Equation <inaudible> 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 topic charged particle the force f acting on a particle of electric charge q with instantaneous velocity v due to an external electric field e and magnetic field b is given by in si units where times is the vector cross product all boldface quantities are vectors in terms of cartesian components we have f x equals q E x plus v y b z minus v z b y display style f underscore x equals q e underscore x plus v underscore y b underscore z v underscore z b underscore y f y equals q e y plus v z b x minus v x b z Display style f underscore y equals q e underscore y plus v underscore z b underscore x v underscore x b underscore z f Z equals Q E Z plus V X B Y minus V Y B X Display style f underscore z equals q e underscore z plus v underscore x b underscore y v underscore y b underscore x. In general, the electric and magnetic fields are functions of the position and time. Therefore, explicitly, the Lorentz force can be written as f r r t q equals q e R T plus R times B R T display style math BF F math BF R math BF dot R T Q equals Q math BF e math BF R T plus math BF dot R times math BF B math BF R T in which r is the position vector of the charged particle, t is time, and the overdo is a time derivative. A positively charged particle will be accelerated in the same linear orientation as the E field, but will curve perpendicularly to both the instantaneous velocity vector v and the B field according to the right hand rule in detail, if the fingers of the right hand are extended to point in the direction of v and are then curled to point in the direction of b, then the extended thumb will point in the direction of f. The term QE is called the electric force, while the term QV times B is called the magnetic force. According to some definitions, the term 
Lorentz force refers specifically to the formula for the magnetic force with the total electromagnetic force including the electric force given some other non-standard name this article will not follow this nomenclature in what follows the term Lorentz force will refer to the expression for the total force the magnetic force component of the Lorentz force manifests itself as the force that acts on a current carrying wire in a magnetic field in that context it is also called the Laplace force the Lorentz force is a force exerted by the electromagnetic field on the charged particle, that is, it is the rate at which linear momentum is transferred from the electromagnetic field to the particle. Associated with it is the power which is the rate at which energy is transferred from the electromagnetic field to the particle. That power is V F equals Q V E Display style math bf v c d o t math bf f equals q math bf v c d o t math bf e. Notice that the magnetic field does not contribute to the power because the magnetic force is always perpendicular to the velocity of the particle. Topic: Continuous charge distribution. For a continuous charge distribution in motion, the Lorentz force equation becomes d f equals d q e plus v times b. Display style mathrm d math b f f equals mathrm d q left math b f e plus math b f v times math b f b right where df is the force on a small piece of the charge distribution with charge dq. If both sides of this equation are divided by the volume of this small piece of the charge distribution dv, the result is f equals rho e plus v times b Display style math bf f equals rho left math bf e plus math bf v times math bf b right, where f is the force density, force per unit volume, and rho is the charge density, charge per unit volume. Next, the current density corresponding to the motion of the charge continuum is J equals rho v. Display style math bf j equals rho math bf v. So the continuous analog to the equation is the total force is the volume integral over the charge distribution f equals rho e plus j times b d v. Display style math bf f equals i i i n t rho math bf e plus math bf j times math bf b mathrm d v. By eliminating rho and j using Maxwell's equations and manipulating using the theorems of vector calculus, this form of the equation can be used to derive the Maxwell stress tensor sigma. In turn, this can be combined with the pointing vector s to obtain the electromagnetic stress energy tensor T used in general relativity. In terms of sigma and s, another way to write the Lorentz force per unit volume is f equals sigma minus one. C two S T display style math BF F equals nabla C D O T bold symbol sigma D F R A C one C carrot two D F R A C partial math BF S partial T where C is the speed of light and denotes the divergence of a tensor field. Rather than the amount of charge and its velocity in electric and magnetic fields, this equation relates the energy flux flow of energy per unit time per unit distance in the fields to the force exerted on a charge distribution. See covariant formulation of classical electromagnetism for more details. The density of power associated with the Lorentz force in a material medium is J E Display style math bf j c d o t math bf e. If we separate the total charge and total current into their free and bound parts, we get that the density of the Lorentz force is f 
equals rho f minus p e plus j f plus times m plus p t times b Display style Math BF F equals row underscore F Nabla C D O T Math BF P Math BF E plus Math BF J underscore F plus Nabla times Math BF M plus F R A C partial Math BF P partial T times Math BF B where rho f is the density of free charge, p is the polarization density, j f is the density of free current, and m is the magnetization density. In this way, the Lorentz force can explain the torque applied to a permanent magnet by the magnetic field. The density of the associated power is j f plus times m plus p t e Display style left math bf j underscore f plus nabla times math bf m plus frac partial math bf p partial t right c d o t math bf e. Topic: Equation in CGS units. The above mentioned formulae use SI units which are the most common among experimentalists, technicians, and engineers. In CGS Gaussian units, which are somewhat more common among theoretical physicists as well as condensed matter experimentalists, one has instead F equals Q C G S E C G S plus v c times b c g s display style math bf f equals q underscore mathrm c g s left math bf e underscore mathrm c g s plus frac math bf v c times math bf b underscore mathrm c g s right where c is the speed of light Although this equation looks slightly different, it is completely equivalent, since one has the following relations Q C G S equals Q S I four Pi E zero E C G S equals Four Pi E zero E S I B C G S equals four Pi Mu zero B S I C equals one E zero mu zero display style q underscore mathrm c g s equals frac q underscore mathrm s i s q r t four pi epsilon underscore zero quad math b f e underscore mathrm c g s equals s q r t four pi epsilon underscore zero math b f e underscore mathrm s i quad math b f b underscore mathrm c g s equals s q r t four pi mu underscore zero math b f b underscore math Therm S I quad C equals FRAC one SQRT Epsilon underscore zero mu underscore zero where Epsilon zero is the vacuum permittivity and mu zero the vacuum permeability. In practice, the subscripts CGS and SI are always omitted, and the unit system has to be assessed from context. History Early attempts to quantitatively describe the electromagnetic force were made in the mid-18th century. 
It was proposed that the force on magnetic poles, by Johann Tobias Mayer and others in 1760, and electrically charged objects, by Henry Cavendish in 1762, obeyed an inverse square law. However, in both cases the experimental proof was neither complete nor conclusive. It was not until 1784 when Charles Augustin de Coulomb, using a torsion balance, was able to definitively show through experiment that this was true. Soon after the discovery in 1820 by H. C. Oersted that a magnetic needle is acted on by a voltaic current, André-Marie Ampère that same year was able to devise through experimentation the formula for the angular dependence of the force between two current elements. In all these descriptions, the force was always given in terms of the properties of the objects involved and the distances between them rather than in terms of electric and magnetic fields. The modern concept of electric and magnetic fields first arose in the theories of Michael Faraday, particularly his idea of lines of force, later to be given full mathematical description by Lord Kelvin and James Clerk Maxwell. From a modern perspective it is possible to identify in Maxwell's 1865 formulation of his field equations a form of the Lorentz force equation in relation to electric currents, however, in the time of Maxwell it was not evident how his equations related to the forces on moving charged objects. J. J. Thomson was the first to attempt to derive from Maxwell's field equations the electromagnetic forces on a moving charged object in terms of the object's properties and external fields. Interested in determining the electromagnetic behavior of the charged particles in cathode rays, Thomson published a paper in 1881 wherein he gave the force on the particles due to an external magnetic field as F equals Q two V times B. Display style Math BF F equals FRAC Q two Math BF V times Math BF B. Thomson derived the correct basic form of the formula, but, because of some miscalculations and an incomplete description of the displacement current, included an incorrect scale factor of a half in front of the formula. Oliver Heaviside invented the modern vector notation and applied it to Maxwell's field equations. He also in 1885 and 1889 had fixed the mistakes of Thomson's derivation and arrived at the correct form of the magnetic force on a moving charged object. Finally, in 1895, Hendrik Lorentz derived the modern form of the formula for the electromagnetic force which includes the contributions to the total force from both the electric and the magnetic fields. Lorentz began by abandoning the Maxwellian descriptions of the ether and conduction. Instead, Lorentz made a distinction between matter and the luminiferous ether and sought to apply the Maxwell equations at a microscopic scale. Using Heaviside's version of the Maxwell equations for a stationary ether and applying Lagrangian mechanics see below, Lorentz arrived at the correct and complete form of the force law that now bears his name. <laughs> Trajectories of particles due to the Lorentz force In many cases of practical interest, the motion in a magnetic field of an electrically charged particle such as an electron or ion in a plasma can be treated as the superposition of a relatively fast circular motion around a point called the guiding center and a relatively slow drift of this point. The drift speeds may differ for various species depending on their charge states, masses, or temperatures, possibly resulting in electric currents or chemical separation. Significance of the Lorentz force While the modern Maxwell's equations describe how electrically charged particles and currents or moving charged particles give rise to electric and magnetic fields, the Lorentz force law completes that picture by describing the force acting on a moving point charge Q in the presence of electromagnetic fields. The Lorentz force law describes the effect of E and B upon a point charge, but such electromagnetic forces are not the entire picture. Charged particles are possibly coupled to other forces, notably gravity and nuclear forces. Thus, Maxwell's equations do not stand separate from other physical laws, but are coupled to them via the charge and current densities. The response of a point charge to the Lorentz law is one aspect, the generation of E and B by currents and charges is another. In real materials the Lorentz force is inadequate to describe the collective behavior of charged particles, both in principle and as a matter of computation. The charged particles in a material medium not only respond to the E and B fields but also generate these fields. 
Complex transport equations must be solved to determine the time and spatial response of charges, for example, the Boltzmann equation or the Fokker–Planck equation or the Navier–Stokes equations. For example, see magnetohydrodynamics, fluid dynamics, electrohydrodynamics, superconductivity, stellar evolution. An entire physical apparatus for dealing with these matters has developed. See for example, green cubo relations and Green's function many -body theory. Lorentz force law is the definition of E and B In many textbook treatments of classical electromagnetism, the Lorentz force law is used as the definition of the electric and magnetic fields E and B. To be specific, the Lorentz force is understood to be the following empirical statement. The electromagnetic force F on a test charge at a given point and time is a certain function of its charge Q and velocity V, which can be parameterized by exactly two vectors E and B, in the functional form F equals Q E plus V times B Display style math BF F equals Q math BF E plus math BF V times math BF B. This is valid even for particles approaching the speed of light. That is, magnitude of V equals V approximately equals c. So the two vector fields E and B are thereby defined throughout space and time, and these are called the electric field and magnetic field. The fields are defined everywhere in space and time with respect to what force a test charge would receive regardless of whether a charge is present to experience the force. As a definition of E and B, the Lorentz force is only a definition in principle because a real particle as opposed to the hypothetical test charge of infinitesimally small mass and charge would generate its own finite E and B fields, which would alter the electromagnetic force that it experiences. In addition, if the charge experiences acceleration, as if forced into a curved trajectory by some external agency, it emits radiation that causes breaking of its motion. See for example bremsstrahlung and synchrotron light. These effects occur through both a direct effect called the radiation reaction force and indirectly by affecting the motion of nearby charges and currents. Moreover, net force must include gravity, electroweak, and any other forces aside from electromagnetic force. Force on a current carrying wire When a wire carrying an electric current is placed in a magnetic field, each of the moving charges, which comprise the current, experiences the Lorentz force, and together they can create a macroscopic force on the wire sometimes called the Laplace force. By combining the Lorentz force law above with the definition of electric current, the following equation results, in the case of a straight, stationary wire F equals I times B display style math BF F equals I bold symbol L times math BF B where is a vector whose magnitude is the length of wire and whose direction is along the wire aligned with the direction of conventional current flow I if the wire is not straight but curved, the force on it can be computed by applying this formula to each infinitesimal segment of wire D, then adding up all these forces by integration. Formally, the net force on a stationary, rigid wire carrying a steady current I is F equals I D times B Display style math bf f equals i int mathrm d bold symbol l times math bf b. This is the net force. In addition, there will usually be torque plus other effects if the wire is not perfectly rigid. One application of this is Ampere's force law, which describes how two current carrying wires can attract or repel each other, since each experiences a Lorentz force from the other's magnetic field. For more information, see the article Ampere's force law. EMF The magnetic force QV times B component of the Lorentz force is responsible for motional electromotive force or motional EMF, the phenomenon underlying many electrical generators. 
When a conductor is moved through a magnetic field, the magnetic field exerts opposite forces on electrons and nuclei in the wire, and this creates the EMF. The term, "...motional EMF", is applied to this phenomenon, since the EMF is due to the motion of the wire. In other electrical generators, the magnets move, while the conductors do not. In this case, the EMF is due to the electric force QE term in the Lorentz force equation. The electric field in question is created by the changing magnetic field, resulting in an induced EMF, as described by the Maxwell Faraday equation, one of the four modern Maxwell's equations. Both of these EMFs, despite their apparently distinct origins, are described by the same equation, namely, the EMF is the rate of change of magnetic flux through the wire. This is Faraday's law of induction. See below. Einstein's special theory of relativity was partially motivated by the desire to better understand this link between the two effects. In fact, the electric and magnetic fields are different facets of the same electromagnetic field, and in moving from one inertial frame to another, the solenoidal vector field portion of the E field can change in whole or in part to a B field or vice versa. <laughs> Lorentz force and Faraday's law of induction Given a loop of wire in a magnetic field, Faraday's law of induction states the induced electromotive force (EMF) in the wire is E equals minus d phi b d t. Display style math call E equals frac mathrm d phi underscore b mathrm d t, where phi B equals sigma T D A B R T display style phi underscore B equals I I N T underscore sigma T mathrm D math B F a C D O T math B F B math B F R T is the magnetic flux through the loop b is the magnetic field sigma t is a surface bounded by the closed contour sigma t at all at time t da is an infinitesimal vector area element of sigma t magnitude is the area of an infinitesimal patch of surface direction is orthogonal to that surface patch the sign of the emf is determined by lenz's law note that this is valid for not only a stationary wire but also for a moving wire from Faraday's law of induction that is valid for a moving wire, for instance in a motor and the Maxwell equations, the Lorentz force can be deduced. The reverse is also true, the Lorentz force and the Maxwell equations can be used to derive the Faraday law. Let σ be the moving wire, moving together without rotation and with constant velocity v and σ be the internal surface of the wire. The EMF around the closed path σ is given by e equals sigma t d f q display style math call e equals oint underscore partial sigma t mathrm d bold symbol l c d o t math b f f q where e equals f q display style math b f e equals math b f f q is the electric field and d is an infinitesimal vector element of the contour sigma t nb both d and da have a sign ambiguity to get the correct sign the right hand rule is used as explained in the article kelvin stokes theorem the above result can be compared with the version of faraday's law of induction that appears in the modern maxwell's equations called here the maxwell faraday equation times e equals minus B T display style nabla times math B F E equals frac partial math B F B partial T. The Maxwell Faraday equation also can be written in an integral form using the Kelvin Stokes theorem. So we have the Maxwell Faraday equation sigma T D E R T equals Minus sigma t d a d b r t d 
T display style point underscore partial Sigma T mathrm D bold symbol L C D O T math BF e math BF R T equals I I N T underscore Sigma T mathrm D math BF a C D O T mathrm D math BF B math BF R T over mathrm D T and the Faraday law Sigma T D F Q R T equals minus D D T Sigma T D A B R T Display style oint underscore partial sigma t mathrm d bold symbol l c d o t math b f f q math b f r t equals frac mathrm d mathrm d t i i n t underscore sigma t mathrm d math b f a c d o t math b f b math b f r t. The two are equivalent if the wire is not moving. Using the Leibniz integral rule and that divb equals zero results in sigma t d f q r t equals minus sigma t d a t b r t plus Sigma T V times B D Display style oint underscore partial sigma T mathem D bold symbol L C D O T Math B F F Q Math B F R T equals I I N T underscore sigma T mathem D Math B F a C D O T F R A C partial partial T ma THBF B Math BF R T plus oint underscore partial sigma T Math BF V times Math BF B Mathem D bold symbol L and using the Maxwell Faraday equation Sigma T D F Q R T equals Sigma T D E R T plus Sigma T V times B R T D Display style oint underscore partial sigma t mathrm d bold symbol l c d o t math b f f q math b f r t equals oint underscore partial sigma t mathrm d bold symbol l c d o t math b f e math b f r t plus oint underscore partial sigma t math b f v times math b f b math b f r t mathrm d bold symbol l since this is valid for any wire position it implies that f equals q e r t plus q v times b r t Display style math bf f equals q math bf e math bf r t plus q math bf v times math bf b math bf r t. Faraday's law of induction holds whether the loop of wire is rigid and stationary, or in motion or in process of deformation, and it holds whether the magnetic field is constant in time or changing. However, there are cases where Faraday's law is either inadequate or difficult to use, and application of the underlying Lorentz force law is necessary. See an applicability of Faraday's law. If the magnetic field is fixed in time and the conducting loop moves through the field, the magnetic flux phi b linking the loop can change in several ways. For example, if the b field varies with position, and the loop moves to a location with different b field, phi b will change. Alternatively, if the loop changes orientation with respect to the B field, the B da differential element will change because of the different angle between B and da, also changing phi B. 
As a third example, if a portion of the circuit is swept through a uniform, time-independent B field, and another portion of the circuit is held stationary, the flux linking the entire closed circuit can change due to the shift in relative position of the circuit's component parts with time surface sigma t time dependent. In all three cases, Faraday's law of induction then predicts the EMF generated by the change in phi b. Note that the Maxwell-Faraday's equation implies that the electric field E is non-conservative when the magnetic field B varies in time, and is not expressible as the gradient of a scalar field, and not subject to the gradient theorem since its rotational is not zero. <laughs> Lorentz force in terms of potentials The E and B fields can be replaced by the magnetic vector potential A and scalar electrostatic potential phi by E equals minus phi minus a t. Display style math bf E equals nabla phi frac partial math bf a partial t b equals times Display style math bf b equals nabla times math bf a. Where is the gradient? Is the divergence times is the curl. The force becomes f equals q minus phi minus a t plus v times times Display style math bff equals q left nabla phi frac partial math bf a partial t plus math bf v times nabla times math bf a right, and using an identity for the triple product simplifies to v has no dependence on position, so there's no need to use Feynman subscript notation. Using the chain rule, the total derivative of a is d a d T equals a T plus V a display style frac mathrm d math bf a mathrm d T equals frac partial math bf a partial T plus math bf V c d o t nabla math bf a. So the above expression can be rewritten as f equals q minus phi minus v a minus d a d t display style math bff equals q left nabla phi math bf v c d o t math bf a frac mathrm d math bf a mathrm d t right with v equals x, we can put the equation into the convenient Euler-Lagrange form, where x equals x caret x plus y caret y plus z caret z. Display style nabla underscore math bf x equals hat x dfrac partial partial x plus hat y dfrac partial partial y plus hat z dfrac partial partial z and x equals x caret x plus y caret y plus z caret z display style nabla underscore dot math bf x equals hat x dfrac partial partial dot x plus hat y dfrac partial partial dot y plus hat z dfrac partial partial dot z topic Lorentz force and analytical mechanics The Lagrangian for a charged particle of mass m and charge q in an electromagnetic field equivalently describes the dynamics of the particle in terms of its energy, rather than the force exerted on it. 
The classical expression is given by L equals M two R R plus Q A R minus Q phi Display style L equals FRAC M two Math BF dot R C D O T Math BF dot R plus Q Math BF of C D O T Math BF dot R Q phi where A and phi are the potential fields as above. Using Lagrange's equations, the equation for the Lorentz force can be obtained. The potential energy depends on the velocity of the particle, so the force is velocity dependent, so it is not conservative. The relativistic Lagrangian is L equals minus m c two one minus r c two plus q a r r minus q phi r Display style L equals make carrot two SQRT one left FRAC dot Math BF RC right carrot two plus Q Math BF a Math BF R C D O T dot Math BF R Q Phi Math BF R The action is the relativistic arc length of the path of the particle in space time, minus the potential energy contribution, plus an extra contribution which quantum mechanically is an extra phase a charged particle gets when it is moving along a vector potential. <laughs> relativistic form of the Lorentz force Covariant form of the Lorentz force <laughs> Field tensor Using the metric signature 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, the Lorentz force for a charge Q can be written in covariant form where P alpha is the four momentum, defined as P alpha equals P zero P one P two P three equals Gamma M C P X P Y P Z Display style p caret alpha equals left p underscore zero p underscore one p underscore two p underscore three right equals left gamma mic p underscore x p underscore y p underscore z right. Tau the proper time of the particle f ab the contravariant electromagnetic tensor f alpha beta equals zero minus e x c minus e y c minus e z c e x c 0 minus b z b y e y c B Z zero minus B X E Z C minus B Y B X zero display style f caret alpha beta equals begin p matrix zero and e underscore x c and e underscore y c and e underscore z c e underscore x c and zero and b underscore z and b underscore y e underscore y c and b underscore z and zero and b underscore x e underscore z c and b underscore y and b underscore x and zero end p matrix and u is the covariant four 
velocity of the particle, defined as u beta equals u zero u one u two u three equals gamma c minus v x minus v y minus v z. Display style u underscore beta equals left u underscore zero u underscore one u underscore two u underscore three right equals gamma left c v underscore x v underscore y v underscore z right in which gamma v equals one one minus v two c two equals one one minus v x two plus v y two plus v z two c two Display style gamma v equals frac one sqrt one frac v caret two c caret two equals frac one sqrt one frac v underscore x caret two plus v underscore y caret two plus v underscore z caret two c caret two is the Lorentz factor. The fields are transformed to a frame moving with constant relative velocity by f mu nu equals lambda mu alpha lambda nu beta f alpha beta display style f caret mu nu equals lambda caret mu underscore alpha lambda caret nu underscore beta f caret alpha beta where elma is the lorentz transformation tensor topic translation to vector notation the alpha equals 1 component x component of the force is d p 1 d tau equals q u beta f 1 beta equals q u Zero F ten plus U one F eleven plus U two F twelve plus U three F thirteen Display style frac mathrm d p caret one mathrm d tau equals q underscore beta f caret one beta equals q left u underscore zero f caret ten plus u underscore one f caret eleven plus u underscore two f caret twelve plus u underscore three f caret thirteen right. Substituting the components of the covariant electromagnetic tensor f yields d p one D tau equals q u zero e x c plus u two minus b z plus u three b y Display style frac mathrm d p caret one mathrm d tau equals q left u underscore zero left frac e underscore x c right plus u underscore two b underscore z plus u underscore three b underscore y right. Using the components of covariant four velocity yields d p one d tau equals Q gamma C E X C plus minus V Y minus B Z plus minus V Z B Y 
equals q gamma e x plus v y b z minus v z b y equals q gamma e x plus v times b x display style begin aligned frac mathrm d p caret one mathrm d tau and equals q gamma left c left frac e underscore x c right plus v underscore y b underscore z plus v underscore z b underscore y right and equals q gamma left e underscore x Plus v underscore y b underscore z v underscore z b underscore y right and equals q gamma left e underscore x plus left math bf v times math bf b right underscore x right end aligned. The calculation for alpha equals two three force components in the y and z directions yields similar results. So collecting the three equations into one d p d tau equals q gamma e plus v times b display style frac mathrm d math bfp mathrm d tau equals q gamma left math bf e plus math bf v times math bf b right and since differentials in coordinate time dt and proper time d tau are related by the Lorentz factor, d t equals gamma v d tau. Display style d t equals gamma v d tau. So we arrive at d p d t equals q e plus v times b display style frac mathrm d math bf p mathrm d t equals q left math bf e plus math bf v times math bf b right this is precisely the lorentz force law however it is important to note that p is the relativistic expression p equals gamma v m 0 v display style math bfp equals gamma v m underscore 0 math bf v topic lorentz force in spacetime algebra sta The electric and magnetic fields are dependent on the velocity of an observer, so the relativistic form of the Lorentz force law can best be exhibited starting from a coordinate independent expression for the electromagnetic and magnetic fields f and an arbitrary time direction gamma 0 this can be settled through spacetime algebra or the geometric algebra of spacetime, a type of Clifford's algebra defined on a pseudo-Euclidean space, as E equals F gamma zero gamma zero. Display style math bf e equals math call f c d o t gamma underscore zero gamma underscore zero and I B equals F gamma zero gamma zero display style I math BF B equals math call F wedge gamma underscore zero gamma underscore zero F display style math call F is a spacetime bivector an oriented plane segment just like a vector is an oriented line segment which has 6 degrees of freedom corresponding to boosts rotations in spacetime planes and rotations rotations in space space planes the dot product with the vector gamma 0 display style gamma underscore 0 pulls a vector in the space algebra from the translational part while the wedge product creates a travector in the space algebra who is dual to a vector which is the usual magnetic field vector the relativistic velocity is given by the time like changes in a time position vector v equals x display style v equals dot x where v 
2 equals 1 display style v caret 2 equals 1 which shows our choice for the metric and the velocity is v equals c v gamma 0 v gamma 0 display style math bf v equals cv wedge gamma underscore 0 v c dot gamma underscore 0 the proper invariant is an inadequate term because no transformation has been defined form of the lorentz force law is simply note that the order is important because between a bivector and a vector the dot product is anti-symmetric upon a space-time split like one can obtain the velocity and fields as above yielding the usual expression topic <laughs> lorentz force in general relativity In the general theory of relativity the equation of motion for a particle with mass m display style m and charge e display style e moving in a space with metric tensor g a b display style g underscore ab and electromagnetic field f a b Display style f underscore ab is given as m d u c d s minus m one two g a b c u a u b equals E F C B U B display style m frac do underscore c d s m frac one two g underscore ab c u caret a u caret b equals E F underscore C B U caret b where u a equals d x a d s display style u caret a equals dx caret a per deci second d x a display style dx caret a is taken along the trajectory g a b c equals g a B X C display style G underscore ab C equals partial G underscore ab partial X caret C and D S two equals G A B D X A D X B Display style ds caret two equals g underscore ab dx caret a dx caret b. The equation can also be written as m d u c d s minus m gamma a b c u a u b equals e f c b u b display style m frac do underscore c d s m gamma underscore a b c u caret a u caret b equals e f underscore c b u caret b where gamma a b C display style gamma underscore ABC is the Christoffel symbol of the torsion-free metric connection in general relativity, or as M D U C D S equals E F C B 
U B Display style M F R A C do underscore C D S equals E F underscore C B U carrot B where D Display style D is the covariant differential in general relativity metric torsion free. Topic Applications The Lorentz force occurs in many devices, including cyclotrons and other circular path particle accelerators, mass spectrometers, velocity filters, magnetrons, Lorentz force velocimetry, and its manifestation as the Laplace force on an electric current in a conductor. This force occurs in many devices, including See also equals equals footnotes <laughs>